वेलकम टू एग्जाम पे सो लेट्स लर्न अबाउट ट्रेड यूनियन ट्रेड यूनियन व्हाट इज ट्रेड यूनियन ट्रेड यूनियन इज अ यूनियन ऑफ वर्कर्स ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर इंडस्ट्री ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर कंपनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सर्विंग देयर इंटरेस्ट्स और के इंटरेस्ट कैन बी इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल और लेट से वेलफेयर एट द वर्क प्लेस वर्क प्लेस कैन बी फैक्ट्री और ऑफिस और साइट प्लांट कैन बी एनी थिंग ओके सो इट इज अ मेंबरशिप बेस्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ अ ट्रेड यूनियन यू हैव टू बी अ मेंबर फर्स्ट यू हैव टू पे द फी ओके पे द फी एंड देन यू कैन बिकम अ member all the members are united by the same interest so trade union represent you know uh, similar uh, uh, sort of workers let's say which i told a particular company a particular organization a particular industry it is a bargaining unit and it bargains with employer normally employer and government government or its representatives in case of government uh, organization in india public sector under taking service so it can act as a legal representative for its members main aim is to protect and fulfill the interest of its members at workplace not your personal fights okay members choose their representatives from among uh, themselves so members can be one can become a secretary one will become treasurer one will become president of trade union so they represent a whole set of workers and will go to employers to negotiate on labor contracts or other things representatives put forward their demands before employers and negotiate for a solution so solution is happened through collective bargaining we will study about it some trade unions are organization specific some are industry specific now trade unions negotiate through a process called collective bargaining and it should be the process it is a peaceful process this process is based on discussion so a round table on a round table some employer representatives will be there some trade union representatives will be there they will sit they will put their demands they will agree on demands and they will come to a solution okay article 23 of universal declaration of human right identify the ability to organize trade unions as a fundamental human rights article 23 of universal declaration of human rights in india indian trade union act 1926 governs trade unions and their provisions now wage uh, now codes labor codes have come so these laws will be replaced the statistics are maintained by labor bureau in the ministry of labor in india bharatiya mazdoor sangh is the largest trade union in india Okay, now what is collective bargaining? It is a process of negotiation between employers and workers. Okay, so peaceful uh, uh, and based on discussion. Workers are generally represented represented by trade union. Negotiations are done to agree on wages, working conditions such as working hours, leaves, compensation for extra hours, and other rights of workers. unions and employers try to reach a consensus a legal contract signed in this regard when both parties agree which is called a bipartite agreement if only two parties are involved if employer and employee are involved. if somehow third party is also involved such as uh, you know an arbitrator or government or a court then it is called a tripartite agreement okay tripartite tri means three right the term collective bargaining was first used by beatrice web and we learned about this in our previous video about beatrice uh, web article item 2a of international labor organizations declaration of fundamental principles and rights to work defines the freedom of association and effective re recognition of the right to collective bargaining as essential right of workers so collective bargaining you cannot stop uh, somebody to you know organize a trade union and do collective bargaining it is a right we learnt about this in code of discipline also now types of bargaining are there some other types one is surface bargaining surface bargaining means you are not going to deep one party is a strategy in which one of the parties bargain with no intention of reaching an agreement and it can be done by employer also it can be done by employee also so 
it is a form of bad faith marketing you don't have a good faith so if employer he believes that not agreeing on an agreement serves his purpose better then he will not agree right he will show you that he wants to agree but he will not agree generally it is the employer who does surface bargaining hard bargaining in hard bargaining one of the parties takes a firm stand and remains strict on its position okay jukega nahi that is the position which it takes normally employees sometimes employers also boulevardism is also a form of hard bargaining it is a take it or leave it offer without any further scope of negotiation okay it is named after lemuel boulevard now types of trade unions on the basis of purpose we have reformist uh, unions which wants to reform the current uh, arrangement existing policies which they want to change existing policy or working conditions in an organization so if working policies are really bad so reformist unions are helpful then uplift unions are idealistic in nature they improve social status and dignity of uh, members these are good these kind of unions are good in most of the modern companies uplift unions are uh, there in factory business unions these are economic interest economic interest means uh, wages okay and leaves then allowances bonus etc revolutionary unions aim to completely overthrow an existing system we read about it in our previous uh, videos it, they are uh, associated with marxist karl marx and uh, friedrich engels so not type of revolutionary unions are there anarchist aim is to destroy an existing industrial setup through violent means okay so they will put factories on fire they will resort to violence then political unions aim at destroying existing industrial setup through political means okay they will take uh, um, help from you know uh, oppose political parties which are in opposition because only they will support then predatory unions these type of unions pick any issue and try to benefit from it so they are not you know they don't uh, care about uh, real interest of workers only some of the people will benefit unions based on composition now craft unions belong to same craft or occupation like union of nurses union of doctors union of policemen then general unions can belong to any industry any region any country any job or occupation we have bharatiya mazdoor sangh so members are uh, you know workers from multiple industries then all india trade union congress then we have industrial unions member members are of different categories or craft but belong to same industry union of different categories of workers in the cement industry then federation is a union of more than one trade unions union forms federation or confederation